Greetings, friends and colleagues. It's Sean Elvis. I'm over here by the by the river today, uh, so forgive me if the lighting's messed up. I'm trying to get a cool shot, but anyway, on with the message here. Remember how Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, and they realized that they were naked for the first time? Well, even after today, after all these years since the Garden of Eden, you know, we can still feel naked. We can still feel ashamed of ourselves, right? A sense of guilt, if you will. It's like it's programmed in our DNA that when we do something wrong, when we do something uh, against God and we break the commandments, we sin, we, we feel guilty, we feel remorse, if you will, um, after we do something wrong. And, and many times we do struggle to do what is right just for the simple fact that we fear failure, right? Um, I remind you of the famous quote from the great philosopher Homer Simpson, right? who says trying is the first step towards failing. Trying is the first step towards failing. So you know what, don't even try because you're gonna fail anyway, right? So, but, um, and, I, and I'm jokingly aside though, it is, it's so true. Uh, we, should not, um, we should not fear uh, failure uh, and so much that we don't try, right? Um, but I wanna read a, a short passage out of the Bible uh, from the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter four verse 36 through 41, where Jesus calmed the storm, okay? Um, so let me read this real quick. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. So Jesus just got done preaching. Let me just give a little quick background. Uh, Jesus just got done preaching a message, and he said, hey, we're going to take a ship over to the other side of the sea to land, right? Anyway, that's enough of the background. And, arose, and there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was hindered part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awakened him and said unto him, Master, carest not thou that we perish? So there's this big storm that comes out of nowhere, and they think they're going to die. And Jesus, and Jesus is downstairs sleeping like, 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 how could you sleep through this storm, dude? Do you see we're about to die, right? And listen to what Jesus says. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. So Jesus just got up, woke up and said, Hey, wind, cut it out. And the wind stopped and obeyed him. It's crazy. It was a miracle. But anyway, on with the story. Uh, one last verse. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? <laughs> I mean... Jesus answered and said, why are you so fearful? Have you no faith? You see, never anywhere in the whole Bible uh, does the Bible say that fear comes from the Lord. It always says, have no fear. The only time we should have fear is fearing disobeying God, fearing breaking the commandments, right? Everything else we shouldn't be afraid of, including death, right? 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 says, For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. See, Fear does not come from the Lord. That comes from Satan. That comes from the devil. So when 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 these guys were were scared that they were gonna die, um, when these guys were scared that they were gonna die, you know Jesus was telling them, "Hey, you, you think I'm gonna you think I'm gonna lead you guys the wrong way? <laughs> Have you guys no faith? Like God's gonna take care of us, right? You guys are scared for no reason." Um, uh, I, and almost, I'm, I'm also reminded of the famous Psalm, ch uh, chapter 23, which says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. You see, in this story, the people were afraid that bad things were going to happen to them. That's when they lost their faith. Um, you see, the two go hand in hand. When you're putting your faith in God, you have no fear. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. See, the point of my message today is this, guys. Going MGTOW, going your own way can be a scary thing. Why? Because, you know, your family's going to ostracize you. Your friends will uh, make fun of you, reject you. Your job can maybe even um, fire you. Uh, it could be a scary thing, you know, to come out... Uh, and have society completely just go against you. Women will uh, completely go against you. And, you know, um, but so long as you do what's right and you stick and you stick with obeying the commandments of God, you can live without fear. This isn't to say that you won't be tempted with sin. Oh, you will most definitely and surely will be tempted to sin. 
and go back to your old ways and your old habits, but through faith, you can withstand the storm, you know, just like Jesus did when he was literally sleeping like a baby through it, right? So when things get tough, and they will get tough, I promise you, you can calmly and joyfully just carry about your business and keep obeying the Lord. And people will look at you confused like, well, aren't you scared that you're going to be alone forever? You're going to die alone. And you'll just be like, well, the Bible says Jesus will never leave me or forsake me, so I'm never going to be alone. So I'm <laughs> not afraid of that. Um, and or, or they may be like, well, you're never going to get laid, dude. You're never going to uh, produce offspring and carry on your seed. And you'll just be like, well, Jesus uh, has a mansion prepared for me in heaven. And, you know, uh, the Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So not afraid of that. Right. Is, see, uh, the thing is, guys, misery loves company. Right. Misery loves company company see what's happening is they're not following the commandments of god so they're ashamed they feel guilty about it inside their heart and they just want to bring you down to their level and all you got to do is just calmly just say hey i'm going to pray for you and just keep staying on the straight and narrow keep doing the right thing that way you don't get dragged down to their level where they want you because they're miserable and they want you miserable too but don't 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 succumb to that right so, um I apologize for that. Um, anyway, um, so the next time you find yourself tempted in sin, just keep following the Lord. Just like imagine Jesus sleeping down under the deck of that boat, right? Under the deck of that ship. And he's just sleeping through the storm. So no matter how hard it gets, no matter, you know, you lose your job, society uh, shuns you, uh, the women reject you, whatever the case may be, right? You're just... You, you find yourself like really like you feel isolated, you feel alone, whatever, you know, just calmly, just stay calm and breathe and don't sin. Don't fall into sin. Just like Jesus was sleeping like a little baby, just take a nap, go to sleep and just be like, I'm going to trust in you, Lord. I'm going to keep continuing to follow the commandments, Lord, and you'll make it through that storm. And once you make it through that storm, you're going to realize, wow, I didn't have nothing to be afraid of, right? Once the storm passes, you're, you're going to feel glad because you're not going to be ashamed. You're not going to have that guilt inside of you, right? So just stick with God. Stick with His righteousness. Don't let the devil tempt you. Don't let him put fear into you. Um, no matter how uh, difficult that storm gets. Um, and, and the funny thing is when the storm passes and you don't give in, you know, you're, you're actually going to be rejoicing. You're going to be rejoicing for the next storm. You're going to be like, oh, man, I can't wait for the next storm to come along because... Uh, because every storm that comes, it's like lifting weights in the gym, right? You just get more stronger. You get stronger. And, and just like Jesus, Jesus' faith was so strong. This, this storm's coming and he's just sleeping like a baby. And everybody's like, are you crazy? We're about to die. And, and he's just like, guys, God's got us. Even if we do die, we're still good to go, right? Like, <laughs> uh, Anyway, um, see, I, I, never, I never could understand how, uh, you know, the apostles in, in the Bible, like, they could be so joyful when they're getting persecuted, thrown in jail, and, and getting uh, hanged and crucified, right? And it's like, well, James chapter 1 says, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, you know? Because that's like I said, you know, your faith will just get stronger. So it, you almost, you almost kind of welcome it. You almost kind of say, bring it on, Satan. Let me see the worst you got, because it's just going to make me stronger. Because... Uh, you know, the Bible says, resist the devil, he will flee from you. So, you know, you build that resistance to the devil and you just get stronger and your faith gets stronger in, uh, in the Lord. And, and it's so true. Anyways, um, that's my message for the day, guys. Um, basically, uh, stay strong and don't, and don't forget to reach out to your brothers because and strength, cause there's strength in, in helping each other, you know, when... when when your brother's going through a hard time and you just come over and pat him on the back and say, hey, dude, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great, you know. That's a, that's big encouragement, you know, for the brothers um, to, because we need to encourage one, one another and, and boost each other's confidence out here because the devil, he's a tricky he's a tricky guy and he, and he knows how to tempt us and hit just the right button. So keep lifting your brothers up. Anyway, um, until next time, this is uh, Sean Ellis out. As usual giving God the last word. You guys have a great day. God bless. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 25, The fear of a man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord 
shall be safe. Amen.